Hi y'all, it's Arthur from Precision Fitness Equipment, and I'm going to show you how to set up a custom workout. So the first thing I'm going to do is unlock console, then I'm going to go over to this user profiles button. I'm going to click that, and then I'm going to go to the profile that I want to edit. You can have up to four profiles on here. So I'm going to edit number two. I'm going to press and hold, and now I can edit the profile. I can click OK to change the name by going up or down or I can click OK to exit out and edit the weight. Next I do the age, level, which corresponds to the normal um, workouts that you would have. So 20 will amplify whatever that workout is by 20, um, et cetera, et cetera. Next, your default walk speed, your default jog speed, and your default run speeds. And those will correspond to these uh, quick settings. And then lastly, the default speed, which is the speed at which uh, the treadmill is gonna start when you just first start off um, the treadmill if you were to just push like the quick start. Next, you're gonna set a low, a medium, and a high incline, and then what a typical distance goal would be. Lastly, what your typical like just go um, time would be your warm-up time, your default cool-down time, and now you can edit a workout. So I'm going to edit this one, so I'm going to click OK. You can store up to three different workouts on here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to choose whether or not I want to make it a manual or a heart rate workout. I'm going to choose manual, and this is where I can set um, intervals. So. If I were to set it to 24, there's 24 different uh, lines here. So each line is going to represent a minute. If I were to do 48, each line represents 30 seconds. Uh, I'm sorry, two minutes, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, so that you know, once you set your time, what you're going to do is you're going to push enter, and then you'll be able to actually choose the incline. So for this one, I kind of have one already set up. But if you wanted to keep it completely flat, you could keep these completely at zero. Or if you wanted them higher, you bring every one. Uh, so if I wanted to keep this at four, I would just bring this over to four. And now it's going to stay at the same incline. Um, after that, I can I go through all 24 of these. I can then edit speed. Now this is where you can you have a lot of flexibility. Each one of these being, uh, you know, a minute right now because we have it at 24. So I can bring this out as far as I want or as, or as close as I want. Um, and this is where you're really gonna be able to kind of key into those speeds. Once again, you arrow over all the way to the right. Once you get to the 24 speed, it will save it. And now to recall it, what you're gonna do we're just going to exit out of here and go to the regular screen. And you're going to push the user profiles button. And then you're going to go over to profile two. And you're going to click OK. Now you're logged in. Now you can go to your custom workouts. And this is the one that we just created. And you can click OK and start your workout. I hope this answers your question. Uh, if you do have any others, feel free to let us know. Thanks.